Hey everyone, I'm Justin with 702pros.com. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about email marketing campaigns and how to uh, create an effective one that's going to get the best ROI and engagement from customers. So let's get started. Hey guys, I'm Ben. So in this video, I'm gonna be covering some of the tactics that I've used for email marketing that have been successful for me in the past. So let's get started. So first thing that we wanna talk about is the email marketing system that you're gonna be using. So email marketing system is number one. And I, for this video, I'm gonna assume that you guys already have a list. You have a list of customers or clients or subscribers that you can send emails to. All right, so with that assumption, we're gonna go into the system that you can use. So there's a ton of systems out there and I've used probably all of them. Uh, I've used, I don't know, probably every single one of them. But the, the one that I, or that I suggest to you is MailChimp at MailChimp.com. I'll actually uh, the link below if you wanna take a look. But MailChimp is a bulk email marketing system. So you can create a list of MailChimp and send out to a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand, a million uh, subscribers on your list, as, as many as you can create a list for. Uh, the reason I recommend it, especially if you're just starting out, it's free to up to 2,000 subscribers. I think that's still the case. 2,000 subscribers and you can send, I think, 10,000 emails. So you could send, if you had 2,000, you could send out five emails in a month to all 2,000. And uh, you get that each month, that's that's free. And before you could create as many lists as you want. Now I think they changed it so you can only create like one list. And now they're called audiences if you're, if you're into MailChimp, if you already checked it out. So I'll have the link to that below. But let's get into how to create the campaign. Because the campaigns are the big part and that's what you're gonna be doing. After you create your list, you create a campaign. And a campaign is essentially the email that you're sending out. So the first step into creating an effective campaign that's going to get more clicks or opens, because that's that's really how we gauge, gauge the success, is opens, one, and then clicks uh, to your website or wherever your call to action, engagement on the call to action. And that, that's probably the, the most important behind opens. Because if no one opens it, actually that, that's a bad thing. So we look at opens and then we look at engagements after they open. So those are the two main factors that you're gonna be looking at. And uh, just to let you know, we're gonna be doing another video on analytics and how to check all that stuff to make sure that this campaign was successful. So the first thing that we're gonna do with creating a successful email marketing campaign is uh, look at the title. So title is number one. And how do you create a good title? Well. That, that takes a little bit of tact and it takes a lot of time to know what's a good title and what's the difference. But essentially you're gonna look at, one, would you open this email based on this title? If you didn't know the person, for instance, say you, you haven't emailed them in a while, assume that they don't even know you when you're emailing. Would you open this uh, title? Is this title engaging? Does it look like spam? Because in our head there's certain words and I can, you know, if free and it's bold free. Or, or something like that, that's gonna engage in my brain, oh, this is spam, I'm not gonna open it. So there's a few words or a few ways of phrasing things that will make it look like spam. Not only to a person that's gonna be opening it, but also to email systems like Gmail, Yahoo, AOL, uh, G Suite, whatever system they're using, it's going to mark that email as spam if one, the title looks spammy. So that's something that you want to look at. Make sure that title is engaging, but it looks like it's being sent from a friend or someone that's trying to give information rather than someone that's just trying to sell something. So, and, and that's another little power tip for you is don't just create these emails to sell. You're creating these emails to build a lasting relationship with people. You actually want them to see you as an expert in what you do, uh, either if it's a product or service, 
you want them to uh, trust you, trust your opinion and trust what that the information you give them isn't just buy now, buy now, buy now. You're just, you want to build that relationship with them and give them useful information along with a, you know, or, uh, ultimately selling them something, but not, you know, not something that's totally out of your realm, something that you've been helping them with throughout a process. So title is number one, make sure that it's engaging and that it's friendly and then it's not salesy. Don't go over salesy. Okay, so after you have your title worked out, the next thing is gonna be content. And content is another, uh, another piece that takes finesse. You don't wanna have too much text on the page, but you don't wanna have too little. So I, I think the, the perfect amount of text is three, about 300 words bro broken up with some images. So anything less than, uh, let's say 100 words is gonna to be too short. If it's over 300, you got probably too much text. No, no one's gonna read all of it. And then, uh, then you get into the, uh, you get into the hurdle of possibly going into the spam category on email and or, or social or uh, the promotional tabs. And you want to end up going into the general inbox. If you go into promotional and social, your click through, your open rate is going to go down substantially. So that's something you want to look at is stay within these, these certain parameters. So you're not going into those other tabs. And then you get the, hard, the highest um, click through or open rate. Okay, so under 300, let's say 100 to 300 words. If you're over a little bit or under a little bit, okay, that's fine. And then um, another thing are the images. You wanna have engaging images, but not overly sells now, sells now, sells now. You wanna have some, now. what's now. really big is images with people. So if, say it's me talking about my team here, I would take a picture of us, send it out, something funny, humorous, possibly, and, or maybe a GIF would be nice to put in there. Or in addition to emails, I would put in maybe a YouTube video, a short YouTube video talking about what, you know, what this is all about, if you have the time to do that. So YouTube video is really nice. And then those pictures wanna be, they wanna be engaging, they wanna be friendly, and they wanna be like you're sending this to a friend, not just uh, some, they're not like they're a number. You, you wanna treat them as a customer, as a real person. So uh, the pictures are really important. And then you want to have in the content a clear call to action. So a clear call to action is going to be something that you want them to do after they've read this information. You gave them this free information, informing them about what you're doing or what product you're selling or service. And then you have a clear call to action. You know, go to my website for more information. That's essentially what you want them to do. Go to your website or go to another social media account. So you have this cross pollination of marketing. So you have your social email marketing or website uh, marketing. And this all is derived from, it's called inbound marketing. So anything that comes from off your site and goes like, if you're bringing someone from somewhere else on your site, it's inbound marketing. So that's what we're looking at. And then after content, so we have title, we have content, and then we have the time to send. That's number three. What time should you send this out? And that's, uh, you might be thinking, oh, you know, I can send it whenever. Well, the time to send is a really important thing. If you send it at 12 and there's a lot of people, a lot of emails coming in at that time, that might not be the best time. If you send it late at night and there's a lot of emails coming in late at night, that might not be a good, a good time because you're gonna get buried by other emails. So what I found is the best time is early in the morning, about eight or 9 a.m or eight or nine uh, p.m. at night. When people are getting ready for bed, they're checking emails, they're on their phone, maybe reading an article. I think that's the best time to hit the inbox uh, if they're not getting a lot of emails. But another power tip, so power those tip. are the times, eight and nine a.m., eight and nine p.m. But another power tip for you is uh, check or do, this is a premium thing with MailChimp but it's A and B testing or B, A and B email um, campaigns. 
So you can send two email campaigns. You can change the title in one, in A. Uh, you change the title a little bit, you change the content, and you can send it at a different time. And B, you could change the title, change the content a little bit, and you could send that at a different time. So you can see which one's better. And in the next video, when we go over the analytics and how to check to see which, you know, um, how many opens you're getting, blah, 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 blah. If you have the premium for MailChimp and you're doing the A and B, you can, you can compare those analytics side by side. And that's really, that's really important for gauging what success you're getting from the same, you know, same list. These are being sent to different people, but there's, they're essentially the same email just broken up a little bit. The titles are essentially the same. You just maybe change a word or something or change that time or, or the content. So you're going to see which ones work the best and that's going to help you with your next campaigns. So it's all just a learning experience. All right. So email marketing in a nutshell, that's, that's sending out a campaign, uh, how to leverage the success of a campaign. And then the next video, like I was talking about is analytics. And that's just as important as sending a campaign, looking at those analytics and living by what you're reading and actually not just saying, okay, well, it's not working. Well, you kind of decipher why it's not working, why, and, and that's the helpful part of A and B, because you could say, okay, it's not working because of this. You can kind of point out those, those pieces of the campaign that didn't work. All right, so again, my name is Justin with 702pros.com. If you wanna go over to my website, it's 702pros.com. You can go to the YouTube tab and you can watch some other videos. You can also subscribe to my newsletter, the email uh, campaign that I send out. I send that out to customers and clients and also subscribers like you guys. If you want to check that out, just put your, e your name and your email in and then you can be part of the email uh, list that we send digital marketing tips that are not on YouTube specifically. So we'll, we'll give you some insider uh, email tips. And then also, if you like this video, please consider uh, hitting the thumbs up leaving a comment below if you have any questions and then subscribe to the channel if you want to see more digital marketing tips if you want to see um, email marketing tips like this or graphic design website design branding is something we're really big into uh, creating uh, cool color schemes and and brands that really engage with with customers um, if you think of really engaging products or brands you think of nike or you think of one of those big brands, how did they do that? And that's kind of, uh, that's something that I, I'm interested in, how to engage with, with people and make them into brand ambassadors because people love some brands and they'll like take Apple for instance, I don't like Apple, but the people that do like Apple, they live and die by that brand and they'll defend it, you know, because they are so loyal to that brand. So brand loyalty is another big thing. All right, so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Uh, companies go from startup to successful operating companies.